Yes. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Omar? Not too bad. I mean, bruised. They feel like bruised underneath. It's good. Yeah. Ew, man. Let me get some white. So yeah. I'm going wash that out. Damn, son. I still got it, huh? <laughs> this is amazing. Damn. They thought I fell off, though. Damn, Ted, you fell off. You don't even tap anymore. Pizza, oh, I'll stay tapping. I stay tapping in these streets. I stay tapping in these streets. That email open soon. <laughs> Here he is. There he goes. Um, what you got? What? Right What's up. going on in that head today, Ern? Oh, I'm ready to do some PUBG. Mm -hmm. Well, let me call the dealer, get some Zannies. <laughs> Not because I want to abuse them, but I'm going to need them. <laughs> I'm gonna no, today's gonna be a nice and calm day. Easy it's day. gonna be a calm day. I'm going to be very nice. I'm always nice, but I'm gonna be extra nice today. Yeah, well, people have had enough of me. People have had enough of you? Yeah. What do you mean? Uh, <laughs> In what manner have they had enough of you? Enough of my complaining and meanness. Oh, look at you, I got you. Oh, you didn't know what to do there. Here, yes! Oh. Twist. Yes. He tries. Yes. Round. Go, bang. Oh, easy now. Yes. Oh, what happened? I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Off. Oh. Yes. Around. Yes. Yes. Good man. Yes. Good man. Go to dog stuff. Whew, I'm getting tired too. <laughs> uh, all right, let's roll up. Good boy. I brought that Sunny D from Colorado Springs. <laughs> this citrus shit had me giggling. I don't know if it was that or just you roasted by tattoos. It <coughs> went crazy. Uh. They went nuts. It was amazing. It's amazing. I appeal to all audiences. Yeah, you appeal. Your roasting of me appeals to all audiences, except for the guy that unsubscribed last night because he uh, thinks it's bickering. Yeah. So I said, does Teddy ever lose an argument? And I said, even if I'm wrong, I may convince you I'm right. Dude, I'm telling you, you gotta let me edit like a weekend vlog. I do one day and it's the earn edit and it's called earn wins. And I just, I cut you off. Even what are you gonna do though? How are you gonna make yourself win? <laughs> I just cut you off mid sentence, you big. And the but fact is- But here's the problem. And here's like even the music debate yesterday. Cause some people are like, dude, let Ted, let earn have his own opinion. I'm letting you have your own opinion. I'm trying to get you to explain your opinion to me so that I I can understand why yeah. you feel the way you feel. And then they're like, you fuck it. <laughs> Just let him fuck it. I'm like, that's fine. But you have to be able to articulate why yeah. you feel that way. I can't say like, hey, the, the that Ritz Cracker box is the best sculpture in modern art and then not have it and just walk away. Like, that's not the world we live in. Yeah. We debate about things, especially art, and I think people forget that I'm an artist and that yeah. if there's anything I've done for years, it's fucking critique art. Like, that's, that's what I do. Now you're back in tattooing. Yeah. It's funny to hear you say how much you love tattooing, and I guess it's because now that you're free from all the bullshit, you actually love tattooing. Because yeah. I just remember the time when you were like, I fucking hate tattooing. I'm dead. Like, you used to always tell me, like, I'm not, figuring that could be the last tattoo. I'm probably done after this. Like, I'm done. And I'm like, and then you actually became done because of this, and then being done, but being able to freely do it, now you love it. Yeah, I needed to get away from it for a little while. Yeah. Like, it's funny how everything yeah. switches up. I was like, remember with Teddy, I was always afraid he was just gonna quit. It's just like people ruin it, man. Like, yeah. other people, like it just changed a lot. Like, why, the reasons that I started to love tattooing changed around me. It's really because of other tattooers. You know, yeah. that got so fucking flooded that people, it's just like music or anything else. Yeah. There's like no individuality. There's all kinds of reasons. And then you realize that you spend 10, 15 years like trying to become a really good artist only to write the word breathe with a fucking arrow shooting through it 150 times a week, you know? And yeah. Then you start paying your bills that way. And once you make money doing one thing, one way, it's hard psychologically to fucking switch back. And I was just like becoming super depressed with it for years. Where it was just like, I don't, I'm not having fun with this anymore. Yeah. Where I used to wake up to go to the tattoo shop and be super excited every single day. And so yeah, I just have to do more things. I'm not a one trick pony. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nobody is. I like to be diverse. Well, some people like just doing the same thing in and out every day. Yeah, I guess they do. You know, like some people love it. They're like, love the normalcy and the knowing what's going to happen and shit like that. I'm just yeah. not really built like that. And as far as being creative, tat tattooing is just a medium. So it's like, I can't sit here and be like, you know, the amount of time that it takes to do a tattoo on somebody and then basically hand to draw it and then you just give it to them. They walk away with it forever. Yeah. And then it's gone out of your life and all you have is a picture. That's a pretty unrewarding medium of art. Well, I know you were saying that. What you got from it was a little bit of money, which then it becomes a job. Yeah. And it doesn't. You know, and then like, That's not art. You're basically just drawing shit on people and taking a machine and putting it into their skin. Thing when you, yeah, and it's not like you're saying you it becomes you start getting paid off the little shit of that becomes your job and it becomes a day to day and then all of a sudden it's mechanical. You're literally just a person who yeah. knows with a machine how to put something into someone's skin. Yeah, yeah. It's not like creating some awesome thing that you're into or drawing something up. Right. And that's just where tattooing changed. And I don't like being one of those tattooers that push shit on people that don't want it either. Yeah. Like, I can't stand that. I used to work with people who would like, someone would come, some like petite little girl would come in with like a name she wanted to get covered up and because they wanted to do a traditional panther head, they'd be like, yeah man, put a panther head over that thing. And it's like, this girl's like 95 pounds. This thing's on her neck. And you want to give her a traditional panther head as if it's like sexy, you know? It's like, yeah. there's no application of just like, how this tattoo fits that person's body or even their fucking lifestyle. It's just like, it got silly, man. Yeah. But I do love it. I absolutely love it. Well, it's like shoes. I mean, everything gets silly yeah, once everything. you get in deep. You let other people ruin it, you yeah. know? And that's, the, unfortunately, it's a job. If tattooing was just a hobby and I could just, like, come up with cool drawings and be like, hey, man, I feel like doing this. Like, there'd be a lot of people to yeah. get this shit, you know? So it's just like, yeah. there's just like, strange constructs around it. And at the end of the day, it's really just about being creative. Dude, let's do that artistic. AI back piece. What? Or that skull, I'm ready. You wanna get a robot Last Supper back piece? Okay. Just all AI Last Supper. That'd be sick. I was just thinking the actual skull that's on the t-shirt, I'll just get it on my back. Uh, no. That'd be sick. I'll do that, yeah, last stuff. The flames are doing great. But yeah, art in general. And that's what some people in the comments say, I'm too old to talk about music and shit. I'm like, I've been talking about art my entire life. Yeah, and I use it. Never, that's, they're the same thing. They're just different yeah. fucking chambers of art. Yeah. I think it's like all purposeful. I think I'm realizing that all the people that talk shit Dude, what else people don't realize is business. Like, talk about me. You're too old to talk about music. The people that... that they look up to are all in their 40s. And yeah. All in their 40s. And the people who fucking pay them, manage them, and know what the fuck is really going yeah. on in the scene are a bunch of fucking 50 yeah. and 60 year old fucking grown yeah. men. That's who runs what's hot. So you can't they say you, you you're too hot. old to... Yeah, hot. exactly. I know. You know. <laughs> I don't know that everybody else knows. Yeah. Be an easy day if you want. Yeah, no, we're not. I mean, what is there even? I have to draw. I have to draw for sake. Well, that's what I'm saying. So we can just play, shoot, shoes. <laughs> yeah, we'll um, play some games for a little bit. Maybe get some lunch. It was late on Instagram. I was like, I'm gonna be so late, and somehow I got here at 10. Cop the parking pass. I'm up in the lot, certified. It's for a blue tent, my mom says. What size? I know you don't. You know what size you want? I think she was a seven in the NDs. What size are those shoes that I bought you? They're nines in a women's, a women's nine. Okay. I don't know, mom, I don't wear duck boots. I don't know anything about them. I don't know anything about them. Well, she can do a review. We can do, yeah, we'll have you do a review of them since you just bought them. Yeah, that's Great. Right. Or I can't wait. Y'all, and she said lots of it. Y'all are gonna be wasted. I'm gonna be making a movie. Yeah. It's gonna be amazing. I have to make my Christmas movie special. My mom just, my mom just got silent. I said I have to make, Dude, we got titles and stuff. I have to make quality. my, I'm a mother, I'm a filmmaker mother. You know, I mean, of course you are, you're in my life, you're in my vlog, what are you talking about? Whatever, ha whatever happens in life, happens in life. <laughs> <laughs> I said, in a team of two, there always has to be a fall guy, and right now that's Earth. <laughs> Another day of... Another light, nice and st you're stressed out from playing video games. Yeah, we're gonna get help. We're gonna get help. You, who's gonna get help? You are? Like Video personally? game anonymous. Yeah, yeah, you're addicted. 
So you're coming back tonight, apparently, is what you I said. I think that's the plan. Yeah, a little more PUBG. Oh, man. As long as you get your work done. Yeah, which is what I need to do right now. So I'll see you later, because I got to draw. Peace. Peace out, brother. Get home safe. It looks like it's shitty out. Yeah. I mean, it hasn't started snowing, but it looks like it's gonna. Need my first Colorado snow. It's uh, not, it snowed since you've been here. Barely. It hasn't stuck. That day that they technically it snowed was like nothing. I got mm -hmm. this lighter. I'm giving it back. Oh, you took it home last night? Yeah. And I don't know where the fuck my car keys are. Here they are. I mean, that guest parking dog. Oh, shit. All right. I'm going to the bathroom then I'm out. <laughs> Uh, okay, so yeah, like I just said, I'm sure I have to draw for the rest of the day. Yesterday was crazy because I tried to fit tattooing back into my schedule and vlogging and just doing everything that happens. So that's why we had like a kind of more in-depth 40 minute vlog yesterday. But today I've really just got to draw off like the rest of the night until like maybe Earn comes back over later. So um, I'm going to do that. What do you want? What? What do you want? I'm trying to work. I'm trying to work. Go, go to Dogstar. Good boy. But yeah, I got it to draw. We have a lot of stuff coming up. New York City Sneaker Con is in a couple of weeks, or not even a couple of weeks. It's like eight days away. Um, I will be there, absolutely. We have a drop this Sunday, which are the Skull Robot shirts. I have one here somewhere. I'm wearing one, but. But yes, the Skull Robot shirts. So the AI has been mechanicalized, and then this bad larry right here so we're gonna do uh t-shirts long sleeves and hoodies in that design there's a couple of different color shirts i believe it's navy gray and black for this one there may be white as well um that'll drop sunday at 10 a.m mountain time on our website oh it's teddy.com and then sneaker con is coming I have two sneaker con shirts um have we showed it yet i haven't shown it yet so what we're dropping in sneaker con dropping a couple of things one of the shirts i will show you now just on my phone so king kong will drop in new york city um we'll see an online drop as well that is the king kong design so that'll drop like that and then um yeah and then we have a mystery bag drop coming also on i believe the 14th and this mystery bag drop will be a little different um there's yeah, there's some stuff in them. So a couple of them, um, yeah, just get ready. Mystery bag shit, and I gotta draw for it, and we gotta get stuff going. Um, and it's kind of a little bit on the crunch, just because there's so much going on. So that's what I'm gonna do today. But, for the rest of the day. But, because we like to talk about shoes, and I got a lot of shoes in, and I don't wanna get behind on what we got, I'm gonna go ahead and go over, real quick, the A16 Ultra Boost that I just got yesterday, which is the black and white colorway. Um, so, uh, this shoe, I really love the A16. A lot of people, I mean, I don't really know. Like, I don't know how other people feel about it, really. I don't get a lot of feedback. I haven't heard anyone say they don't like it, but most of the people who get it tend to like the shoe. So um, this is a real simple review because it's, this is a real simple review because the colorway is very plain and simple, but it's also super clean. So just the all black upper, and actually like true solid black upper, no tricks, no gray tricks in here. Dog hair all over the shoe because Omar is everywhere. This table is now full of shoes. Um, I also need to clean my house today. I gotta start, get a head start on that before my mom gets here. All black upper, black three stripes. These are not reflective and these are not reflective stripes. White heel cup, the black and white, the black upper with the white heel cup just gives it that wood wood vibe to most people who know, but it's also just super clean. The white heel cup with the black upper is just super clean. But yes, it does remind me of the wood woods when I first see them. White boost, black continental, school bus, yellow continental tag. The pull tabs, the tongue and the heel tab are both leather. There's no insole in the shoe. It just has the Tango printed on the insole, but the insole's not removable. And then that's pretty much it. For these, to me, they're true to size. So like this lacing system that doesn't exist. Um, I cannot ever remember the name of what they call this thing. The different knitting where the laces would normally be isn't super restrictive. It's not tight on your foot. This just feels kind of like Ultra Boost PK. It's nothing crazy. It's honestly a little bit stretchier than a regular Ultra Boost PK to me, to be honest. Which is why I think it's funny that these are actually sitting. Like the black pair, the white pair, and I'm pretty sure this pair 
are still sitting on adidas.com. And what's funny to me about that is that people freak out and say they love 1.0 Ultra Boost. And this is essentially the 1.0 Ultra Boost pattern in the toe box. And I get it's just a plain color, but it's still kind of funny to me like how people freak out about 1.0 and then these would just sit. And this is because there's really no hype around it. November has been crazy. A lot of shoes have come out. There's a lot of reasons, but um, yeah, it's crazy. So you can still get them. I think they're $200 retail, so you can get them. <sighs> But yeah, it's just like a it's just like a 1.0. The fit to me is even actually a little more comfortable than Ultra Boost, just because I think I like mids better to be honest. But the just the way that it comes over your foot and ankle holds your foot a little bit better in place. They're super super comfortable. Like no cage, no nothing. I mean, it's just a the A16 is a great shoe. I don't think I'd want a half down in this one, but I do have a 12 and a half. So I, you can if you absolutely have to, but I think these fit a little bit different. And here's what I think. So, cause I discovered this today actually, I made a discovery. Um, the knit on this is crazy stretch, right? Like there's no real stiffness to it. It's just stretchy, like everywhere, stretchy, right? And the same thing with this multicolor pair, stretchy. The Kif pair is like way, way stiffer there is a um so the difference there's no line there's nothing on the inside of this shoe it's basically just a pk sock on top of the shoe the kith pair has this crazy like the padding in the heel is the same but there is an inline of suede or suede like material that goes through the inside of the shoe all the way around and makes this just like stiff like you can't this is not like you can't pinch this the same it's not the same whatsoever the only thing that's really like stretchy PK on here is this part. Once I discovered that, I took a look at my sample that I have of the shoe, and it's the same exact way. It's super, super stiff, except for right here. Um, same kind of like faux suede inline. It's not real, it's definitely not suede. But there's a completely different support system, which makes the whole upper just stiffer. Like I can't push that down the same. I can't push that down. I mean, I can push it, but it's not. it's not the same as this this has no give like whatsoever so this is completely different it's a com it's in a way like they kind of like trim the model down some people might say they skimped but i don't really i don't really know if i find one more i mean i don't know this might even just be more comfortable than that and then the other thing is that the pk pattern is more open like look at the sample the sample versus the black and it's hard to see but that pattern the white the pores are way the way more open same thing with the kith it's just like a much bigger pk pattern so that's a difference you know that's crazy so i'm gonna go ahead and grab the white pair too and see what's up and um, yeah, I just find that super interesting. Like it just interests me like no other. So they're all A16 plus pure control ultra boosts. So, I mean, maybe they called them yeah, A16 plus ultra boosts. Yeah, I don't know. So there was some weird thing with the name, but yeah. This to me is a must cop. Like it's not super hype. It's just a super clean shoe, super comfortable. Reminds me of 1.0. So if you've like really not been buying any 3.0s and you don't like where 4.0 is going, there's still stuff that's reminiscent of 1.0 that drops isn't played out, is different, creative, uh, you can kind of find what you want. So, um, but yeah, that is my offering for today. I'm sorry that I was not out and about. It's actually pretty terrible outside today. I think it's gonna snow, so I don't even wanna be outside. I'm gonna go take Omar for a walk, get to drawing, and finish my night. I love you guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out. <laughs>